my name is Kenneth Perry. I am your technology enthusiast. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's make sure that you are open-minded and ready to explore the Start Menu Windows 10. We also gonna have another video part two of the Start Menu. So make sure that you watch that video after you're done with this video. Hit the subscribe button if you like the content. Like button, always love the likes, right? And then if you have any questions, make sure that you comment. All right, so without further ado, let's head into the content. Okay, now we're on the Windows 10 desktop. Each computer has two start menus on the device. Uh, the first start menu is located in the left-hand corner here in the Windows logo. When you hover over it, it says start. The second one is located on your keyboard. And so you should see the Windows logo on your keyboard. And when you select that, it will bring up the start menu. Your start menu consists of the power button. This is where you shut down the computer, your settings and how you customize the device to your, your lifestyle. Pictures, where you can gain access to your photos. And then documents, where you can gain access to your documents as well. On top here is your account settings. This is where you can gain access to your account or make some changes to your account. You have a list of applications here in alphabetical order. You can scroll up and down. And then to the right here, you have your tiles. Now, some of these tiles are live tiles. And what live tiles do is keep you up to date on what's going on without actually going into the application. To give you an example of a live tile, there's weather. It provides you with the information needed so you don't have to go into the application. Now, with the start menu, we consider this as your digital dashboard, right? Where it truly gives you the ability to add and take away from the start menu to truly customize it to your needs. How do we add an application? Well, it's simple. You pick the application you want in the left-hand side, which is say an alarm and clock. You left click and then drag it over and drop. How do we delete an application? Simple. The same application that you dragged and dropped, if you select right click or touch and hold, which is equivalent to a right click, select unpin from start, it takes it away. You also can name the category. Up top here, you see work, but maybe I didn't want to call it work today. Maybe I want to call it personal. I could just left click on the title and then type in personal, select enter, and there you have it. There is another way that you can uh, add to your start menu by choosing particular application you want, right click, and then select pin to start. The difference here is instead of dragging it to where you want it to go or the, on the start menu, when you select pin to start, it shows up at the end of your tiles. The start menu is truly a way to stay organized. With the different categories, you know where to go to get access to the application that you need the most. In Start Menu Part 2, we will review how to resize your tiles and so you can create the ultimate dashboard. Thank you for watching the Start Menu video. We have video two coming up after this one, so make sure that you watch that. You have to watch it, right? And then once again, if you like the content, make sure you subscribe to my channel, K Perry Global. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Thank you, see you soon.